Are you a pessimist? Uh, I'm getting there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we'll make one of you yet? Yeah. Okay. okay. Hello. Thank you for joining me You're on right. creative art therapy sessions. I know I told you very little about this. <laughs> what we're going to do is be painting these cat cutouts and uh, talking a little bit about pets that uh, just our emotions around pets and yeah. you know all that kind of what they mean to us uh, all that kind of stuff so I love it so did you grow up with like a cat or a dog or yeah mm -hmm. uh, I grew up with a dog named Freckles <laughs> uh, and we were best friends yeah yeah uh, and yeah, like spent hours just playing with her and probably annoying her, but she was a good sport about it. Yeah. I also had a cat named Button. Uh, I love these names. <laughs> yeah. Uh, there, it was touch and go with Button. Yeah. He was, um, very private and did not like engaging with people at all. Okay. And so he would hide under the bed until everyone was asleep, and then he would like run around the house. Right. Um, but he never really bonded with any of us, um, and we're not sure why that is. Yeah. Yeah, these cats can are, I mean, they are all different, like, like every animal. Like every being, it's just everyone's different. Yeah, how would you describe the personality of Marshmallow? He is, um, I mean, he's the human embodiment of a marshmallow. That's what, <laughs> that's what he is. He's just like, he's not super fluffy, but he's like, got a nice thickness to him. And it's a tank? Like, he's pretty big, he's pretty big, yeah. Not like Mancoon size, but is this the Himalayan Fire Point? <laughs> uh, it's uh, is, that, is that a real cat? <laughs> Flame Point Siamese. There we go. <laughs> Something like that. I like the Himalayan Fire Point though. That should be a breed. And are you uh, only child, or do you have siblings? I have siblings. Oh, I have yeah. an older sister and an older brother. Okay. Yeah. So you're the youngest. I'm the youngest. So were yours, like, considerably older, or were they just, like... We're close four years apart. Each each yeah. kid's four, four, four? Yeah, so my brother is uh, eight years older than me. They were always feuding, and I was kind of like the, the middle person. Uh-huh. The peacekeeper. Yeah. Which I feel like is strange for the youngest. So do you find when you're doing art or your hands are busy that you're able to have a more open conversation with people? I think so. Just the subconscious, you know, kind of seeping forward and allowing you to process things easier, I feel like. If you have this kind of image that you're trying to fulfill or something, you're not concentrating on all the other stuff that's going on in the background of how am I going to pay rent or people like me at work or stuff like that. Yeah. It's, uh, my friends in college used to call it first person. Hmm. Uh, whereas when you're thinking about everything around you, it's third person. Mm -hmm. And we would always say, like, you're your authentic self when you're in first person. And mm. it's, it's hard to get into first person right. sometimes. Mm -hmm. Have you ever had a non-traditional pet? Untraditional? Um, I, well, yes. Actually, I would guess birds are non-traditional. Yeah. Um, and I, when I was growing up, I was actually obsessed with birds. Uh... I had a parrot that, like, was my best friend, and 
I mean, it's kind of disgusting, but I would like feed him Ritz crackers on my tongue. So like, we were really bonded. Yeah. And then one night, uh, I'm asleep. And I wake up to him hearing him screaming. And I like run out to the hallway to see what's going on. And he like jumps up to the top flight of the stairs. And then behind him, a cat jumps up. And I guess he was left out and the cat got to him and then started with him. And so like... Family cat? Uh, random cat? Just a random cat that came inside, came inside the house. Yeah. He died and then I cried for a bunch. Um, yeah. And then we got an African gray which was really cool, but uh, then my parents got divorced and we couldn't be around him all that time because, you know, we had to go to after school stuff so my mom could work. Yeah. And then he got depressed because he's always by himself, so he started plucking himself. So we gave him to another lady who had an African gray and he got better and like they had babies and so right. I'm glad that he's like lived a life beyond the miserable life we gave him but was it hard to give him up as a kid or did you know he wasn't happy yeah I knew I was like we you know he's doing this to himself we're not being able to and I was really happy when we brought him to the place with the other African Grey and they like were starting to chirp at each other and chat and I was like okay they're he's gonna have a friend now and yeah the experience with the other one was pretty traumatic for a kid it, yeah it was it was traumatic um I, I kind of think it's hilarious that that was you know one of my first encounters with the cat and here I am like <laughs> cat man <laughs> yeah you think it That'd be it for cats. Yeah. But I wasn't I wasn't even like upset with the cat that did it. Because I knew it was like just nature, you know, it wasn't like he was out there trying to be a you know, kill my best friend. He was just trying it was cold out. He was trying to find food. Yeah. Um, cause this was like in a kind of rural Alaska. You lived in Alaska. Oh, yeah. That's where I grew up. That's why I like doing this, too, because I get to know people yeah. that, you know, we don't really talk about our lives necessarily because we're too busy doing what we're doing on the day-to-day. -day. Totally, yeah. Uh, I had a, a pet kill a pet. Oh, really? Yeah. But it was, it was lower key. It was a hermit crab killed my goldfish. My brother's oh. hermit crab. I got revenge. I killed the hermit crab. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Uh, had to be done. And how did your brother feel? I actually don't know. Did he know that it happened? Yes. He, he knew. I was beside myself. Uh, how old were you? I was maybe four or five. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> that makes the killing <laughs> a little better. So this was last week. <laughs> Just, <damn> it. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I could see four, year, four years old. Super sad. He's 12. Mm -hmm. And you're just in a rage. Yeah, it, I was so sad, and I feel like fish are one of the pets where, I hope I don't make anyone mad by saying this, <laughs> where they are replaceable. <laughs> uh, I, I had Oliver, the goldfish, and Oliver too, the second goldfish, uh -huh. but I would never do that with a, a dog or a cat. Uh, so why do you have pets? The cats that I have now, it's just my family. I don't have babies, so these are my babies. You know, it helps me have a point of living other than just living. Yeah. It's like, 
if I'm just taking care of myself, I don't know, it's kind of sad. But if I have these little animals that depend on me, then it at least gives me purpose. <laughs> yeah, like a fundamental human desire to be needed. Right. I totally get that. I think that pets are good for me. Mm -hmm. um, and it relates back to, I think, the same feelings that you have about why pets are important. Just and basic need of being needed. <laughs> yeah. And uh, something that is happy to see you when you get home. Mm -hmm. From here on out, we'll probably always have pets. Mm -hmm. So let's look at yours first. Okay. Do I hold it up? Yeah, hold it up to that camera. That one probably has been looking at it, but let's get that one. This is my piece. Very nice. Yeah, I wanted it to be fun and lighthearted and messy. Yeah. That's exactly Mara. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Thanks. I like it. I, like I said, I definitely love the splatter kind of Jackson Pollock method. Um, my my friend Eric's like on the first episode I filmed, I was like, we were painting our mem memories, and so mm -hmm. I'm sitting there painting my memories, and I look over, and he's just splattering paint everywhere, and I'm like, I didn't even think about it. like abstract. you know abstract version of the memory, go for it. So I love that you also went with the splatter method. I I mean, very organic, very love it. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Uh, so this cat, yeah. this little kitty, started with this design up there, and I don't know why, I just thought it would be interesting, this kind of like Corinthian leaf thing. Um, and then I kind of smeared some paint, this ketchup mustard looking area, uh, which led me to then my little grassy tree growing. And so it's kind of like a, it's a galaxy cat. I've made another galaxy cat. I was thinking <laughs> it, it felt very cosmic. It's beautiful. Thank you. So thank you again for joining me on an episode of Cats. You're welcome. Uh, I don't know if you want to say anything. I don't know. Have anything <laughs> to say? Stay in school. Stay in school? Uh, yeah. Stay in school. I'm good. Okay. Thanks. Thanks. Maybe I just have What about a bomb. clone? Dylan too? Like if they cloned... Uh oh. <laughs> no, not clone you, but...